Uh, good evening, guys. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. I'm great. Good evening, so, teacher. It's raining today. Yes, that's right. That's right, Anna. It's been raining today. I hope that everybody is doing okay. Because I know that it can be uh, complicated sometimes when it rains uh, with the traffic and also a lot of things going on when it rains. So I'm just for hoping. For the grace of God, I will be Excuse very me? well. For the grace of God, I'm very well in my family too. That's perfect. I'm really happy to hear that, Anna. That's perfect. Fantastic. <clears throat> All right. So, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It is. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How Good. are you doing? And you? I'm feeling almost the same. <laughs> okay. I I was I was hoping that today probably I would be better, but I'm feel almost the same. I don't know why. I have taken a lot of medicine. I took um, a cough syrup. I thought I took also some. Uh, cough drops and hot uh, um, tea, all of that, but that doesn't help. I don't know why. I don't know what's going Anything on. Anything drink. I don't know what is going on. It is. I don't know. It's been really hard this time, and my right. throat, my throat, it it hurts a lot. I it's, it's really painful. Mm. But here we go. Okay. okay. I hope that you guys are doing fine. I hope you're doing fine, guys. Uh, we're going to be here today. Remember El that? Jengibre bueno, teacher, dicen. El jengibre bueno. El jengibre bueno, pero masticarlo, pero pica mucho. That's what they said. Yes, that's what, that's what they said. Actually, my mother, she used to tell me that. And uh, she used to tell me that if you can also have some of these candies. There are some candies that are made with uh, ginger. Ginger. And that's... They are really good. I like them, I like them a lot. So, but this time I haven't been able to get anything like that. I'm just uh, using the cough syrup and cough drops. That's it. And some candies, that's, that's everything. So <clears throat> welcome, welcome Francisco. No hay que creer en otros remedios, teacher. Le vayan a decir los amigos. No saludé porque estaba platicando ahí. Un chat de tequila, bueno. No, ya ve, eso es lo que le digo. No crean en esos remedios, ya ve. Pero solo uno, pero es que solo uno. Lo malo no, uno tres, no tres, funciona. Tres, de hecho, que quemar <risa> la garganta. Es para bien, aclarar la dice, pero con uno nada, no, no funciona. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que uno se toma uno y como no funciona, pues hay que seguir, ¿verdad? Hay que seguir hasta que exacto, le cure. Exacto, exacto, exacto. Hasta Pero que bien. le pegue. Y en el dolor, en el dolor, dicho. En el dolor. No, no, lo bueno es que con eso, pues, se anestesia, ¿verdad? Ya después ya no se siente nada. Por eso, ese no es el momento, nada más. No, no se acuerda. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Ok, guys. So... Por cierto, he visto que han estado bien activos, ¿verdad? Por ahí, eh, haciendo las, las actividades. Está perfecto. Creo que si no me equivoco, para mañana tenemos que completar la sección 4. Ya casi terminamos. Ahora eh, vamos a completar eso. Y tal vez, bueno, tal vez empezamos a ver la sección 5, que ya es de la otra semana. Teacher. Sí, uh, Can you help us with the, some... Exercise, uh, I am going to stop, stop. Yes, of course, I can help you with that. Actually, that is one of the things that I wanted to do today because I know that uh, probably sometimes uh, the system or sometimes when you write the sentences down, uh, there can be a problem. So I, I want to help you guys so we can complete the, the knowledge checks that you have uh, because that's really important for you. That's uh, your grades. And I really want to help you with that. So we're going to do that. And <clears throat> All right. So guys, yesterday we were talking about the superlative. I think that we covered all of that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions about superlative. Do you have any questions for me on that? I think that we probably didn't practice as much as we needed, 
maybe that is because we we run out of time at the end. I think that just like the three or four people participated only, and we need to chair. Yes. In the platform, uh, in this case, in my case, um, I am. I am not right very well the WA uh, question with the superlatives. Uh, I am so very difficult to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Anna. Platform, uh, uh, mm -hmm. There is like. <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. Yes, that's what I wanted to say that there is some background noise. <laughs> Le quería decir que esto, por lo menos en mi casa, en la plataforma, me he detenido en los ejercicios de las preguntas de superlativos porque eh, siento que ahí me faltaba bastante, ¿verdad? Y ahí es donde sentí como stop porque ya no pude continuar. Porque ah, como okay. solo habíamos visto oraciones normales, ¿verdad? No preguntas. Sí, sí, claro, tiene razón, tiene toda la razón. Y vamos, vamos a ver eso porque nos hace falta. Entonces vamos a revisar el día de ahora. Vamos a ver. Okay, guys. So today we're going to see that because that's right. Anna is totally right. We haven't seen how to make questions with the superlative. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're also going to see uh, some new information about measurement. Okay. That's the next part, the part that we are missing. So I'm going to share the presentation with you guys. Please bear with me just for a second. Okay. Let's see. There we go, guys. Very good. So, guys, welcome one more time. Thank you so much for being here. So, our topic for today is going to be, uh, well, we're going to complete the part that we are missing for uh, superlatives, which is how to make questions with that. And we are also going to talk about distance and measurements. Okay? Measurements. Eh, vamos a hablar acerca de distancia y mediciones, guys. <clears throat> Bueno, lo voy a dejar por acá, por si lo quieren anotar. Really quick. I'm just going to leave it there for a moment so you can write it down, guys, just in case. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So I'm going to move on. We have the objectives for today, and we have two objectives for today, guys. And number one, <clears throat> we are going to learn how to use questions with how about uh, distance and measurements, okay? And also, uh, we are going to be able to learn uh, how to ask and answer questions with how. Que vamos a aprender cómo contestar y hacer preguntas con how. Very good. So, let me go back. Okay, yesterday we were talking about this, the superlative. I think that we are clear on this part because we don't have any questions on that. Uh, we have the rules here. We said yesterday that you can use uh, EST at the end of, of the adjective when it's just one syllable, uh, two syllables. Uh, we have other rules for those. So I think that we should be fine. All right, so let's see. All right, so uh, here we have what Anna was asking just a moment ago. Okay, she was asking how to make questions with uh, the comparative and also with the superlative form. <clears throat> okay, guys. Entonces, para hacer preguntas, vamos a utilizar la estructura de las WH questions, okay? Que habíamos visto probablemente anteriormente. ¿Cuáles son las WH questions? Eh, las WH questions son las preguntas de información porque vamos a obtener un, una respuesta que nos va a dar información, ¿verdad? No es ni sí o no, sino que es información. De acuerdo. Entonces, por ejemplo, vamos a utilizar la palabra which. O vamos a utilizar, en algunos casos, la palabra what. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Cuál sería básicamente? Es la... <coughs> Sorry, guys. ¿Cuál sería prácticamente el criterio para que nosotros utilicemos una o la otra? La, el criterio va a ser el siguiente. Eh, por lo general, por lo general, guys, vamos a utilizar which cuando nosotros sepamos eh, o estemos delimitando de alguna forma las opciones acerca de las cuales estamos pidiendo información. 
Eh, ¿A qué me refiero con esto? Si ustedes ven el primer ejemplo, dice, which country is larger, Canada or China? Ok, estamos preguntando, ¿cuál país es más, es más grande? Y tenemos dos opciones, son Canadá o China. Esa es la razón por la que utilizamos which, ok? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. All right, so then, how are we going to answer to that question? So, we are going to answer and we're going to say, uh, which one of them is the one that is larger in this case, okay? So we're gonna say Canada is larger than China, okay? Entonces, la pregunta la formamos con una WH word, utilizando, en este caso, estamos utilizando la estructura de el verbo to be, which country is larger, Canada or China? Dos opciones, okay? Vamos a responder utilizando también el verbo to be. Entonces sería, Canada is larger than China. ¿Okay? Vamos a decir uno de los dos. ¿De acuerdo? Recuerden que el comparativo también decíamos que lo vamos a utilizar cuando sea solamente eh, dos opciones. Estamos haciendo un comparativo de dos personas o dos cosas. ¿Correcto? All right. So then we have the same example with the superlative, okay? The superlative, if you can see, we have more than two, okay? We have Tokyo, Mexico City, and Sao Paulo, okay? So we have three cities that we are trying to compare. Okay, and we say, which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Okay, estamos diciendo, ¿cuál ciudad es la que tiene la población más grande, Tokio, Ciudad de México o Sao Paulo, ¿ok? Y como ven, eh, cuando se trata del superlativo, estamos utilizando eh, una, bueno, es una comparación, digamos, eh, entre más de dos, ¿ok? Son tres ciudades en este caso. All right, so in this case, we are asking the question using has, ¿ok? Which city has? So then we're going to answer in the same way. We're going to say, Tokyo has the largest population of the three. Okay, Tokyo tiene la población más grande de los tres. Y así es como vamos a ir formando nosotros nuestras oraciones. Okay, son oraciones. <coughs> Okay, so these are sentences, guys. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, these are questions where we are going to get information from the answer, okay? Y por último, tenemos el último ejemplo. Dice, what is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Okay, en este caso, ¿por qué utilizamos what y no which? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Tenemos what and which. Most of the times they mean basically the same. Podría ser, teacher, porque en la primera nos pone como a elegir, ¿verdad? Y en correct. La, en la segunda de what, no, no sabemos cuál es. That is correct. Excellent. Thank you so much, Anna. That's correct. That is the reason why. In this case, we don't say, uh, we don't have the options. We don't have the options here. It's just, uh, what is the most beautiful? Okay. We are not saying, uh, like two options or three. It's just, what is the most beautiful mountain in the world, okay? We're not specifying which one it is, all right? So the answer is going to be in the same way, okay? What is? So I think Mount, uh, Mount Fuji is, okay? We have, the same, we have the same tense, the most beautiful, okay? Yo pienso, yo creo que el, Mount, el Monte Fuji es el más hermoso, ¿de acuerdo? Y como estábamos viendo el día de ayer, eh, en este caso utilizamos uh, la, la palabra most, eh, the most beautiful, y lo hacemos porque el adjetivo beautiful es de más de dos o más sílabas, ¿correcto? Lo que vimos ayer. En este caso decimos largest, porque large es solamente de una sílaba, ¿ok? The largest. Entonces aplicamos las reglas para los adjetivos 
eh, que solamente son de una sílaba, que es lo que estábamos viendo el día de ayer. Entonces, eso sería, guys. I'm sorry about that. All right, so that would be it, guys. Uh, if you want to compare, uh, you can use this, all right? Uh, you can ask, uh, for example, if there are uh, two people, you can say, which one is taller? And, and the answer is going to be, uh, for example, I think that he is taller, or I think that she is taller than the other person, okay? Then if you want to say uh, the superlative, then in that case, you will need more than two, okay? You will need three people or three things, okay? Uh, all right, guys, so vamos a ver. Vamos a ver por acá algún ejemplo para que ustedes puedan, déjenme ver, ponerlo en práctica. Bueno, eh, vamos a hacer algo. Les voy a compartir, eh, vamos a ver acá, eh, permítanme un instante nada más. Les voy a compartir la parte del de knowledge check para que podamos resolverlo juntos. Y para que ustedes vean cómo, cómo es que todo esto es aplicado, ¿verdad? Que es lo más importante. Así que bear with me, guys. I'm working on it. Ok, guys. Ok. Very good, Reina. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to share uh, the screen with you guys. All right, so you probably, uh, probably most of you already complete this section, okay? Most of you probably already completed this section. But uh, for the one who have not, we're going to study this part so we can just clarify all right so we have some sentences here we actually had 10 and we need to use the comparative and also the superlative form all right so we have sentence number one it says which country is and we have the adjective small all right so we need to fill the blank with the adjective that we have here all right so we have Two, cho two choices, Monaco or ba Vatican City, okay? So that is the reason why we're using which, right? Okay, very good. <clears throat> okay, guys, tenemos el siguiente. Dice, which waterfall is, y tenemos el adjetivo high, y tenemos dos opciones, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls. <clears throat> Entonces, ¿cómo sería acá? Higher. 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 Higher, teacher. Higher. That's correct. Yes, because we are comparing just two things, right? That is the reason why. Just two things. So higher. Yes. Then we have the next one, and it says which city is, and we have the ver uh, the adjective crowded. Okay, we have two choices, guys. We need to compare. So what are we going to do here? And why? More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. Okay, and what is the reason more, why? More crowded. More crowded. More crowded because mm -hmm. there are two uh, syllables. Syllable. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, so the reason is uh, we're going to use more crowded. Okay, and the reason is because we have this adjective crowded and also because we are comparing two things, all right? There are just two things. So more crowded. That is the reason why, okay? Para todos, eh, tenemos dos cosas que estamos comparando. Como dijimos anteriormente, cuando tenemos un adjetivo que termina con ed o con ing, vamos a utilizar eh, perdón, acá me equivoco. Vamos, vamos a utilizar more, ¿verdad? More, more crowded. Okay, so there we go. We're going to move on to the next one. 
It says, which lake is blank, the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? And we have large. Okay, large. That is the adjective here. Larger. Larger. Yeah. Yes, larger. So, which lake is larger? ¿Verdad? Perfecto. Si ustedes ven, en todos los casos se aplican las reglas que hemos estado viendo. ¿Correcto? Which, porque tenemos aquí una, unas opciones. Y larger, porque estamos comparando. Y pues este adjetivo es de una sílaba. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So uh, we go to the next one. All right. Uh, so who can, I, I need somebody uh, to read this for me, please. Which plague is Taj Mahal or the Great Wall of China? The adjective is famous. Mm -hmm. And the answer is uh, more famous. More famous, famous. Thank you so much, Nadia. I appreciate that. Thank you. Very good, very good. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, please, uh, somebody other than Nadia that can read this, okay? We're going to do it this way. So you can help me, guys. I need you to help me because I can... I'm doing really bad right now. Okay, so please help me. Okay, so quien puede leer esto para mí, por favor, y que elija el, el adjetivo, por favor. Which is Mount Aconcagua, Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji? Mm -hmm. the, the answer is. Uh, Highest. Yes, very good. Because superlative. Okay, very good. So how would be the complete sentence, Jenny? We need to fill okay. the space and say which the complete high, sentence. Uh -huh, which is highest? Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji, Fuji? Very good, very good. Thank you so much, Jenny. All right, so... We need to say which is the highest. Highest. Uh -huh. the highest, right. Which is the highest. Right. And you need to use the, okay? Which is the highest. Mont Aconcagua. Yes. So just like that. Oh. Very good. Very, very okay. good. Thank you. So which is the highest? Mont Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji. Very good. Okay. Now uh, the next one, please. Uh, who, who wants to uh, say it? We need somebody to say that number seven. Me Thank you, Anna. Please yes. go ahead. Yes. What is river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? And my answer is uh, longest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how will be uh, the complete sentence? Okay. What is longest river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? Very good. Very good, Anna. So yes, what is the longest river in the world? Uh, the Nile, I think it is the Nile, or the Amazon. Oh, the Rem Amazon. Re remember, just like just like Amazon Prime and, and oh, things okay. like that, right? <laughs> just okay. like that. So the lo the longest, right? The longest. Very good. So now number eight. With City is Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most expensive. Very good. Very good, Maria. Okay, so can you please say the entire sentence, please? Can you please repeat it one more time? Which city is the most expensive, Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. Which is uh, which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Okay. Very good. So we're just missing two guys. We are almost done. My teacher. 
Thank you, Naomi. Please go ahead. What is ocean in the world? The Pacific of the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. El Longo. La respuesta. Mm -hmm. Yes. The eh, deepest. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. What is the deepest? Deepest. The deepest. The deepest. Yes. yes. What is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific. What is what is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific of the Atlantic. Correct. Yes. Aquí eh, solamente creo que aquí ellos eh, bueno hay un pequeño error quizás eh, sería what is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic. Creo que allí uh -huh. le colocaron oh, una, yes. una F. That's what I think. Una F. Yes. So, but very good. Thank you so much, Mami. Thank you. All right. Yo and for, for the last one, we have Nadia. Please go ahead, Nadia. Teacher, I have a question about this. Uh -huh. Answer the this exercise. Yes. I don't understand the different and the exercise number two and exercise number six. Uh, in two case, the adjective is high, mm -hmm. but I don't understand the different and the answer because the sentence two is higher mm -hmm. and the sentence six is highest yes please can you help me and of course of course i can help you yes yes nadia thank you uh, that's a that's a very good question and nadia uh, this is what you know something that i mentioned before okay in this case uh, you are just uh, making a comparison between two things, okay? You have Niagara Falls on one hand, and then you have Angel Falls on the other hand, just two, okay? Just two. And then uh, sentence number six, you have Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, and you also have Mount Fuji. So you have three things here, okay? So we said that so you can make a comparative form like higher, uh, you need just two things, okay? But if you want to make a superlative form, then it's going to be more than two. Like in this case, okay, you have three. That is the reason why we use the highest, okay? Okay, teacher, yes, I, I understand. Thank you. You're welcome, Nadia, thank you. Very good. Okay, muy bien, muchas gracias, Nadia. Y muy buena pregunta. Para todos, para que quedemos claros, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando hacemos la comparación, solamente hay dos cosas, ¿ok? Es como cuál es más grande que una segunda cosa, ¿de acuerdo? Y ya cuando tenemos más de dos cosas involucradas, eh, ya no sería el comparativo, sino que sería el superlativo. Y ese sería también el caso cuando nosotros, eh, por ejemplo, estamos hablando de una población, eh, bueno, extensa. Por ejemplo, este caso, el 9. Si ustedes ven, solo tenemos dos, el, el Pacífico y el Atlántico. Pero, ¿qué es lo que pasa? En la pregunta, estamos haciendo referencia a el mundo, ¿ok? Dice, ¿cuál es el océano en el mundo? ¿Ok? Estamos hablando de todo el mundo, ¿de acuerdo? Y por esa razón utilizamos el superlativo. Porque estamos hablando, estamos in, in, prácticamente estamos infiriendo que estamos hablando de más de dos cosas, ¿ok? Es de todo el mundo entero. Y esa es la razón. All right. So the sentence number, we have the last and final sentence, which is number 10. So who can give me the answer to this? <clears throat> Thank you, Marisa. Please go ahead. Which is driest dessert in the world? At the Kama dessert of Sara dessert. The answer is driest. 
<laughs> and how how did you how do you spell it, uh, Maritza? Can you please spell it out for me? P R mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. E S T. The driest. Thank you so much, Maritza. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Uh, okay. The driest. Yes. Very good. So in este caso, guys, eh, muy bien, eh, Marisa, eh, como nos dijo ella, sería de esta forma, ¿verdad? Vamos a cambiar la letra Y, lo sustituimos por la I y agregamos EST, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces lo vamos a enviar y, bueno, como ustedes ven, ya lo resolvimos y están todas buenas. Todas están bien. Very good. Good job, guys. You did an excellent job. 50 out of 50 points. Excellent job. Yes, please go ahead, Jacqueline. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, what is the pronunciation of mountain? Mountain? Uh, I don't know. It's a, little, it's a little difficult for me. I know, yes. Yes, it's a little bit challenging, I think. It is a mountain. Mountain. Okay, at the end, it's like, like just the N. Just the N sound at the end. Like mountain. 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 Yes. mountain. 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 Eh, se lo voy a reproducir acá para que lo puedan escuchar. Aquí en el, de hecho, eh, en esta parte del vocabulario teníamos la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es como mountain. Mountain. Pero se lo voy a reproducir para que lo podamos escuchar de, de la grabación. Creo que es un poco mejor, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Solo para que salgamos de la duda, Jacqueline. Vamos a ver. Desert. Forest. Vamos un poco para atrás. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to reload the page. Please bear with me. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. So I'm going to reload the page. Desert. Did as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake, mountain. Oh. Hill, island, lake, mountain. Oh. Okay, eh, así que ahí está. ¿Cómo se tiene que pronunciar? Es un poquito difícil. Ay, sí. sí me cuesta, teacher. <laughs> I know, yes, I know. It's really challenging like i said it's one of those words that you need to practice okay you need to say it you can record the the sound that you are uh, producing that's really good so you can do it the right way yes it's difficult difficult just like beach or <laughs> beach uh, desert desert mountain mountain okay it's kind of hard But you can do it. Just we need to practice a lot. Okay, guys. Eh, no sé si estamos claros. Eh, ya hicimos esta parte, ¿verdad? Eh, ya hicimos este knowledge check. Eh, vamos a ver cuál otro hacía falta. Es solamente eso. Ah, bueno, hay algo que quería compartir con ustedes acá, que es algo que nos va a ayudar a pronunciar y a decir las preguntas de la forma más apropiada para que ustedes puedan expresarse. Eh, de la forma más correcta, ¿de acuerdo? Y ya vamos, se lo voy a reproducir y luego de esto vamos a, a discutirlo, ¿ok? Así que por favor, please pay attention, guys. I'm going to play this video for you. I'm going to open this. On. Let me open this in a different tab because it's, I think it's better. I think it's better that way. <clears throat>
<clears throat> okay. There we go, guys. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in Part A of Exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, so guys, uh, here, uh, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. And I want to explain this, uh, how it works, okay? So you can see uh, question number one, and this is what happens, okay? We start with the question and it says, which city is bigger? Okay, when we say this, basically this is like the question, okay? So we make a pause and the intonation falls down at this part, okay? And then if we have just two choices, the intonation goes up in the first option and then it goes down at the final option, okay? So it's like, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Just like that. Okay, so what happens when we have more than two? We do this, okay? Which country is the most interesting? Pause, okay? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, so you can see in this example, uh, the intonation falls down when we make the pause, okay? In both cases, in both situations, guys, it's the same thing. And here, since we have more than two options, the intonation, it goes up and it goes down until the end, just like that. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece, okay? De acuerdo, eh, guys, no sé si les queda claro esta parte que les estoy explicando ahorita, o tienen alguna pregunta para mí. Any questions? Any question, guys? Vale, quiero que... No, teacher. Okay, very good, Nadia, thank you. So let's do something in this case. Since you don't have any questions, uh, all right. So Nadia, can you please read this sentence, the number one, this question, please? Okay. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Okay, very good. So yes, it's uh, which city is bigger? Pause, then Bangkok or Beirut, right? So, all right, so now let's see. Uh, okay, Carlos, uh, pudiera leer, por favor? Carlos Heriberto, uh, can you please read the question number two? Okay, uh, which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Very good, very, very good, Carlos, thank you. Excellent, excellent job. All right, so very good, guys. Estos solo son eh, pequeños consejos para que ustedes puedan uh, tener una entonación eh, correcta, ¿verdad? Para que suene más neutral. All right, so if you don't have any questions on these guys, we are going to continue, We're going to move on. All right, so we already covered this and we're going to continue to the next part. So there is something that I wanted to share with you guys here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let's see. Yes, okay. All right, so now we're going to talk about distance and measurement, okay? <clears throat> so measurement is a process of determining how large or small a physical quantity is as compared to a basic reference 
quantity of the same kind. <clears throat> ok, entonces, guys, eh, el proceso de medición, el proceso de medición prácticamente consiste que nosotros estamos comparando eh, la longitud o las dimensiones de un objeto, de una sustancia, con respecto a un patrón. Ok, así, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros eh, medimos, eh, digamos, un, una casa o medimos un terreno, estamos utilizando una unidad de medida, ¿ok? Por lo general son metros o son en algunas ocasiones yardas o varas, aunque el sistema internacional es el, el de los metros, ¿de acuerdo? Ese es. Ok, so we have different type of uh, measurements. We have length, which is uh, how large something is. Then we have width, and that is how wide something is the height, which is how tall something is. And of course we have the depth, and that is how deep something is, okay? All right, so, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Acá tenemos un pequeño ejemplo de eh, altura versus profundidad, okay? Tenemos el objeto más alto de nuestro, eh, de nuestro planeta, que es el Monte Everest. Y tenemos el lugar conocido más profundo, que es la Fosa de las Marianas. Creo que tal vez ustedes han escuchado de eso, ¿verdad? Eh, the Mariana Trench. That is the deepest place that we know so far. Ok. So, that's for, uh, you know, depth and height. Ok. Height is how tall something is and depth how deep something is, okay? How down it goes and how uh, high uh, something goes. It's uh, how, uh, how up it goes, okay? So <clears throat> then we also have the length, which is basically how large something is, okay? We, nosotros utilizamos eh, el largo, por lo general, para medir cosas como ríos, ¿de acuerdo? Hace un momento, eh, bueno, el día de ayer nosotros estuvimos viendo diferentes eh, como paisajes, diferentes lugares, y ahora vamos a ver cómo podemos nosotros dar información acerca de ellos, ¿de acuerdo? De qué tan altos son, qué tan profundo es y qué tan largo. Esto es algo que nos ayuda bastante a la hora de poder describir cosas, ¿de acuerdo? No solamente lugares, pero también cosas de menor eh, dimensiones. All right, so uh, we have different type of units that we can use, guys. Uh, like I mentioned before, we have the metric system, which is meters, I'm sorry about that, uh, meters, uh, grams. And when it comes to volume, we have liters or we have gallons in, for the English system. <clears throat> Entonces, hay diferentes eh, sistemas de medidas. En nuestro país se utiliza como una no me combinación. Igual. Sí. ¿Me voy a volver a salir? Perdón. Ok. Entonces, como estaba diciendo, perdón. En nuestro país eh, hay una mezcla, ¿verdad? De, de ambos sistemas. Pero en Estados Unidos, por lo general, ellos utilizan el sistema inglés. Ok. Entonces, para eh, dimensiones pequeñas, por lo general, ellos se, se dejan llevar por las pulgadas. ¡No le vayas, Cal! Eh, perdón, vamos a ver, creo que alguien tiene por ahí. Ok. <risa> ¡La perdí, <amor! risa> Ok. Creo que por ahí alguien tenía encendido el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok. Creo que ya estamos otra vez. All right, so I was saying, guys, that uh, in the U.S., uh, they prefer, they mostly use inches or feet for small measurements, okay? Like the height or uh, the, uh, the height of people or also the height for small objects. They usually use inches or feet. When it comes to larger, uh, larger distance, they use miles most of the times, okay? So then uh, when it comes to 
a weight, they usually use pounds, okay? Pounds. Okay, ¿y para qué les estoy mostrando todo esto? ¿Para qué, verdad? Eh, es lo que necesitamos saber. Bueno, esto nos va a ayudar a nosotros a describir y a poder preguntar información acerca de lugares o acerca de cosas, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Acá tenemos la estructura, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, eh, la estructura va a ser la siguiente. Vamos a hacer preguntas utilizando how. ¿Ok? Sería how plus adjective plus per plus complement plus the question mark. All right. So we can ask, for example, how big is San Salvador? Okay. ¿Qué tan grande es San Salvador? All right. So then question number two. How high is San Miguel volcano? Okay. That's just an example, guys. Uh, ¿Qué tan alto es el volcán de San Miguel? ¿De acuerdo? Estábamos diciendo... Eh, que en este caso, cuando decimos high, estamos hablando de qué tan hacia arriba va algo. ¿De acuerdo? También podemos preguntar, how far is a Huachapan from la Unión? ¿De acuerdo? En todos los casos, estamos siguiendo la estructura. ¿Ok? How plus the adjective, in this case is big, high, far, then el verbo to be is, eh, por ejemplo, en estos casos, y el complemento. Ok. <coughs> Sorry, guys. ¿Qué otras preguntas más podemos hacer? Eh, vamos a poner otro ejemplo por acá. Podemos preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, la altura de una persona. How tall are you? Or we can also ask, how much Teacher. do you wait? Yes. Yes. I I have a question about the stall mm -hmm. and but the different stall is higher. Um I don't understand. Uh, high is is for things or places. Mm -hmm. And tall is for people. Is that correct? Is correct? That is correct, Nadia. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. So yes, uh, just like Nadia said, uh, we usually use tall for people most of the times, okay? I think that we can also use tall for some, let's say, other things, but most times it's just for people. And then high, usually for things, like in this case, the volcano, okay? Entonces, eh, también podemos hacer preguntas de este tipo, guys. Eh, no solamente las del ejemplo, sino que podemos pedir más información acerca de las dimensiones o las, eh, alguna cualidad de un objeto o de una persona. ¿De acuerdo? Para el caso del peso, lo hacemos de esta forma. How much do you weigh? ¿Ok? Y por lo general, bueno, al menos en Estados Unidos, se contesta eh, eh, en libras. ¿De acuerdo? Por ejemplo, I am uh, 140 pounds. Así. I am 140 pounds. Por lo general, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces vamos a... <coughs> Perdón. Perdón, guys. Y cuando nos preguntan eh, cuál es nuestra altura, pues por ejemplo decimos... Eh, en inglés, eh, por general dicen, I am eh, five eh, foot o algo así. Ok. I am five foot tall. De acuerdo. Entonces, eh, vamos a utilizar estas estructuras. Pero estas solo son una. Five foot. Yes. Five El, foot. Ah, uh, five feet. I'm sorry. Tiene razón. Son, es plural. Correcto. Tiene razón. Thank you so much. Yes. So five feet tall. <clears throat> All right. So that is the way that we are going to answer, guys, uh, to this kind of question. We have, how big is San Salvador? Normalmente cuando decimos eh, la, qué tan grande es una ciudad, decimos eh, cuál es la, el área 
tiene. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, para este caso, nosotros diríamos, por ejemplo, eh, San Salvador is let's say uh, 100 uh, kilometers uh, I'm sorry let's see creo que es así por ejemplo San Salvador is 100 square kilometers ok El San Salvador es 100 eh, kilómetros cuadrados ¿de acuerdo? porque vamos a decir un área por lo general, cuando nos preguntan qué tan grande es una ciudad y si nos preguntan eh, qué tan alto es un edificio o una cosa eh, en el caso de, bueno, un volcán es muy grande, entonces diríamos eh, por ejemplo it's a it is a 200 meters high en estos casos cuando preguntamos la altura eh, por ejemplo vamos a colocar al final el adjetivo para decir qué tan alto es en la respuesta ok so how high is San Miguel Volcano it is 200 meters high ok de esa forma bueno entonces les quiero mostrar un video guys para que ustedes vean y lo vamos a Analizar juntos, ¿de acuerdo? Permítame un instante por acá. Se lo voy a compartir rapidito, que ya casi se nos acaba el tiempo. Por aquí está. Creo que es este. Bueno, es de hecho son dos videos que se lo puede. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? <laughs> well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Ok, entonces acá, guys, eh, está aplicado lo que les acabo de explicar, ¿verdad? Eh, acá en esta oración, por ejemplo, eh, pregunta, ¿cuál es el... Eh, le pregunta, cómo, ¿qué tan altas son las montañas? Ok, la respuesta dice, bueno, la montaña más alta es el Monte Cook. Es aproximadamente 3,800 metros de alto. ¿Ok? Así es como vamos a responder nosotros. Right? We're going to say it is uh, 3,800 meters high. ¿Ok? If it was the opposite, if it goes down, we're going to say it's, it's 3,800 meters deep. ¿Ok? Diríamos, eh, si fuera el caso opuesto, diríamos qué tan profundo va. ¿De acuerdo? No sé si nos queda claro esta parte. ¿Cómo vamos a dar la respuesta cuando nos pregunten acerca de eh, estas características eh, de dimensiones de un objeto? No sé si estamos claros con eso, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia. All right, so then uh, the next one, it says, uh, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney, okay? Kilometers, kilometers. Okay, guys, okay, that's another thing. Uh, please uh, keep an eye on the pronunciation of these words, because I know that it can be confusing sometimes. So let's keep an eye on that. 
Vamos a ver, creo que eso sería todo en este eh, video. No sé si... Bueno, es casi que ya se nos terminó el tiempo, guys. Entonces, eh, quería preguntarles si tienen alguna pregunta. Si no, pues eh, igualmente mañana vamos a terminar con esto. Perdón. Mañana vamos a, vamos a terminar con esto. Y bueno, yo les dije la vez pasada que quería que hiciéramos una actividad. Entonces, la actividad que quiero que hagamos es la siguiente. Les voy a mostrar un ejemplo de algo que yo estuve haciendo, que yo estuve, que yo estuve, eh, que yo encontré. Vamos a ver, eh, por acá. Bueno, acá tenemos un pequeño artículo que es acerca de una ciudad. Y este artículo tiene información acerca de la ciudad en el cual se utiliza el uso, el uso de, de superlativos, como acá, the largest, the most populous, eh, también comparativos en algunos casos. Entonces, lo que me gustaría es de que ustedes investiguen algún artículo por ahí, eh, pequeño, ¿verdad? En el cual se utilizan comparativos y superlativos y que ustedes, el día de mañana, eh, puedan, puedan simplemente eh, leerlo y compartirlo con la clase. Eso es lo que quiero que hagamos. Esto nos va a servir para poder mejorar nuestro vocabulario, para que, bueno, podamos estudiarlo más y también para que el día de mañana que ustedes lo practiquen, que lo digan, eh, podamos eh, mejorar también la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Eso es importante. Vamos a practicar toda esa parte. Así que, por favor, eh, busquen un pequeño artículo, usted, el que ustedes gusten, eh, puede ser de una ciudad o otra cosa. Y el día de mañana lo compartimos con la clase. Vamos a hacer eso. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. So, if you don't have any further questions, guys, then uh, we're going to leave it here for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow again. Uh, it's going to be the last class of the week. And then we just uh, we're just missing just next week, which is going to be the final week of the of this uh, level. Okay. So, well, guys, uh, thank you one more time for being here, and I hope you guys have a great evening. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Take care, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Anita. Bye.